Okay, hello everyone. So welcome to my first tutorial on how to fix those pink light problems that we usually experience during some weddings and some events. Now I am going to use the Vinci Resolve on how to fix this. Uh, so this tutorial uh, is for those who are already familiar with the Vinci Resolve. Uh, so we're going to use a few clips. So I'm going to show a clip that uh, I'm going to use for today and how to fix it. And we have actually two cases of uh, pink lights. We have the pink lights and the purple lights. We have the severe and uh, the more possible or the more fixable kind of footage. Now we have here a more uh, fixable image because how do we know that? Because we have actually some other colors aside from pink in the background and actually you could still see the separation between the skin tones and everything else the hair of uh, our MC here uh, Miss Darlene and we have the severe type which is this one as you can see uh, excuse me the host here actually has is already colored purple now that's gonna be a big big issue so this is uh, actually almost going to be impossible to fix this he's entirely purple even his pants have become purple his hands everything has gone purple and like here for Darlene at least you could see aside from her pink skin uh, we have actually some uh, what do you call this a uh, blue dress okay so first off uh, we're gonna put the clip here in the Vinci Resolve in our edit line so let's choose a proper clip okay then we're here at the edit uh, tab we're going here in color now here in color uh, uh, I'm going to apologize I don't I'm not really super familiar with the proper terminologies I actually base this mostly on site but I still use the actual scopes now first off we're going to use the waveform scope to determine first we're gonna fix the exposure now the exposure uh, skin tones are supposedly uh, are above around the 640 line uh, 512 is the gray line so if you have a lighter skin tone it's probably in 640 and then uh, 768 for the highlights now we're going to select a part of uh, Darlene's skin that is actually within uh, that's uh, highly affected by the light which is her cheeks now we're going to highlight that portion and we're going to zoom in and if you could notice uh, let's make it more specific there if you could notice it's below the 512 line okay so let's turn off my phone there now we have that so we're going to actually uh, adjust that we're gonna adjust the gamma or the gain you can use the gain and first to for the tip to reach there and then the gamma to reach 640 now with that <coughs> excuse me <coughs> um, with that we are going to fix the we're going to check the exposure now we have there as you can see we have a more proper exposure of their lean skin now uh, compare that before and after so there now we're going to fix the the color of their lean skin the, the technique the technique here that we're going to use is actually we're going to find a portion of the image that is purely white now of course you can't determine if the background is white or these f flowers are white or everything anything else that's white there is white but we are going to look at the eyes of the person. Why? Because a person's uh, pupils, or I don't know how you call it, but, but the white portion in the person's eyes are always going to be white. Unless, of course, they're wearing contact lenses that makes their eyes purely black, like in those horror films. But that's not what we're here for. So we're going to isolate, or we're going to highlight once again a portion of the image, but this time we're going to highlight the eyes okay as you can see a while ago you thought oh I thought those eyes were white but no they're actually still highlighted with purple now uh, we're going to go to the parade and with the parade as you can see uh, we can't see a lot 
unless we actually zoom our enlarge our scope window as you can see uh, the blue tips here and the red tips are high and the green is quite low so we're going to fix this and I'm going to put that back there so we could actually use some curves or we could use actually the color wheels but I prefer to use the curves right now uh, we could actually uh, diminish the blue because actually the, these pink lights or the blue lights are actually more dominant in blue so we're going to remove a bit of blue now we could see more of just red so we go to red remove the red okay so we're getting a more usable color and then we add a bit of green to remove the bluish tint okay so we have a more neutral color right there now we're going to zoom out the image um, right here okay okay um, hello okay I'm not gonna use that okay highlight off okay we're gonna zoom out the image oh. and we're going to remove the highlight uh, the window and there we go as you can see let's check the difference between before and after so we have the pink skin and the proper skin color now with that we have an another problem as you've noticed the green part here is uh, the uh, what they call this the curtains have become colored green now it's up to you if you want to keep that if uh, probably uh, people won't remember what the color of the curtains were but I'd like to fix it myself of course I want to be professional so we could actually isolate the color this is where the process gets a little bit more specific and more grueling so okay so actually you could fix a bit of that you could actually add more exposure to that and we're going to isolate the green color Ooh, now we have that we uh, let's find more of the green parts okay oops sorry okay so which parts are still green yep usually the i think you could also select this there we go so most of the green parts let's see okay now that we have uh, let's fix that I just blur isolate it out and let's fix the color now okay color red okay let's change this color so we go back to the parade okay so the blues are quite down this time okay so we adjust blues a bit okay and the green is very dominant so we move the green okay so we're getting a little bit more of the whiteness let's add a little bit of warmness because if we look at the image here yeah it's a bit warmer the color of the curtains there okay there of course we're avoiding that to become pink again okay move the green okay there we go and once we remove we remove the highlight and as you noticed we have a proper color of the image see once again before and after so that's how we fix uh, pink footage okay so from here we could now add our styling we could add our lots like for me example i could add my own lot the wedding film look contrast and oops it kind of damages the image so we don't uh, we were tend to make that point seven or uh, problem with lots is uh, they tend to create more problems okay so we could actually fix that <laughs> anyway so there so you could add your own lot you could fix it so we farm add more exposure less contrast and lift okay so the important thing is you're fixing the skin tones okay I don't think the lot works for this you could actually use my other lot uh, my lots um, wedding style there that's better do a little bit pink for the skin so there 
so there okay so um that's it we can actually remove a bit of saturation there we go so we have a better skin tone and compare the before and after the before the after the before the after as you can see uh we fixed the pink color and we've managed to bring out more detail in the image okay so if you're a bride or a groom getting to get married always ask your wedding supplier please don't use too much of the pink lights you could use actually for the mood lights during dinner but when someone is speaking in front uh on stage or whatever uh ask them to use the white lights instead so this is jeff sir i hope you've learned something with this uh pink light tutorial on how to fix it here in DaVinci Resolve and if you would like to have more tutorials just let me know and uh, just comment below what kind of tutorials you want for DaVinci Resolve and I'll try to work out one for you and ciao